Hello everyone, Smox here from Celebrant Quest and welcome back to New Cycle. So we are back on the um, hard difficulty meadow map and in the last episode we created our gorgeous little town. Look, they've got like a little sign there, eat yourself. Mm, that sounds a bit strange. <laughs> Hey, whatever you want to do. <laughs> but got our workers doing their jobs. Got a couple of soup kitchens. Got a bit of their living quarters here too. So we'll continue through. See what happens. So I have to increase the population here to 100 within four years time. Um, we're sitting on, what are we sitting on? 50, 51? 51 I believe or is it 53 sorry because we've got two craft or what are these guys called like experts craftsmen I was right the first time <laughs> so I'm gonna have a little look at this uh, I'm gonna have to increase the food that the craftsmen get because they're not doing so well I'm gonna do it to regular just so they're not um, at risk of being really unhappy and unhealthy what about, so that's a craftsman. Oh, I probably could have done it from that. Oh yeah, we don't have any specialists yet. That's to come. But our workers, yeah, they're on a regular distribution for food, water, and the tools. Could I give, oh, the tools aren't available yet for craftsmen. Okay, that's interesting. Um, right, so I wonder what sort of tools that they need. Where's our... Oh, the pit. It's got no workers, no power, no workforce. Okay, so there's a few things we need to address. So right now our electricity is at minus 160. Well, that's no good. So we also don't have any iron ore. What the hell has happened? <laughs> um, okay, where is our little gathering place? I, what are they called? It's one of these, the field camp and the gathering camp. So field camp is the one that takes care of the iron ore. So, okay, that one's run out of the iron ore. So I think we're going to have to make a new one. All right, so that's on the list. We also need to make some, some more windmills. So let's build some more windmills. Utilities, windmill. Oh, we need iron ingots. Do we have those? Yes, we've got plenty of iron ingots. So that's good. What's that one for? That's, oh, that was a good one. That five. Is there a better place to build? No. Okay, let's put it on the other side here where we get the five. All right, that's good. Build that. Let's see. Minus 60, we might need, I might build another one just because we've got the resources to do so, so why not? There we go, let's build two of those. Uh, hopefully that will get rid of our power problem. Speed up time a little bit. Um, okay, so we need to build another field camp and we need to do it in a place that has iron ore. Oh, here's some iron ore and a lot of lumber. That's good. Why don't I just build it? We've got some stone here too. Might just build it. Oh, I thought I was gonna nestle it in there, but I can build it anywhere I like. So, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna plonk it there. <laughs> That'll be fine. Um, we don't actually have any spare workers though, so I'm gonna have to pull some from some of these other businesses. Okay. So what are the, some of the businesses that I might be able to pull somebody? I don't think we need three workers to make the iron ingots. I think I'm gonna pop one person here at the pit. So that's gonna get us some clay, so that's good. Um, What else? Oh, I've got two forges. That's probably why I've got so many. <laughs> why I've got so many um, 
uh, ingots. Okay, so we've got our guy out getting the iron ore. So that's really good. Look, he's doing so well. Two and three, four, etc. already. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, so how's our power? Okay, we're at 80. We've got 80 over, which is good. Oh, what's that flashing at me? A kiln. Oh, have I not built one of these yet? That's a rather large building. I wonder if I put it along the road here. Actually, I've got a... Yeah, let's put that there. I'm going to extend this road out. This way. Beautiful. All right. How are we looking? Stone, producible from the pit as well. Okay, so we don't necessarily need another field camp for the for the stone. That's interesting. All right. It'd be great if we could get some um, some wandering people in, so that we could actually uh, we could actually get a few more extra laborers just to have some spare. All right, so we got some people making some bricks now. That's great. What else is happening? The technical boot camp. I wonder if I should try to make a few more craftsmen. All right. I'm going to take two people off the smith. I'm going to actually make two craftsmen here. That might actually be beneficial for us. So the lumber is really... Oh, speaking of which, here's some extra people to... Oh, good. We got six people. That's great. So I'm just going to pause a sec. So the smith is making tools. Where's the lumber yard? Um, here it is. Lumber mill. My bad. Let's go back to making lumber. Yeah, because we've got... Oh, great. We've got heaps of paper. Let's put some people at the pit. Put another person on that one. And... Oh, not enough resources and no power? Okay. Well, let's make another windmill. There must be a traveling merchant coming, I'm guessing. The person we do not know is approaching. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm sure that it will tell us in a second. All right, so we need to stockpile a few more water resources. So sh is it worth me maybe building another well? Oh, yes, looks like it. There we go. That's good. Okay, so we've got the merchant here. Right, what have you got for us, bud? Leather, meat, and fish. How are we going on those? Meat, we got heaps. Um leather oh god we've got so many and we can trade basic tools i wonder if it's worth well i don't even need to ask i'm gonna guess that it is so let's just trade a few tools why don't i trade maybe like yeah is 300 enough can i not get oh i can't get money for that it's just literally a trade all right no i'm not gonna do that Sorry, mate, you're going to have to go home. Sorry. Look at him, he's just standing there in hope. <laughs> Alrighty, so... Um, we're in autumn, so we're going to get into winter soon, but we've got heaps of meals, which is good. We've got a consumption of 69, but we're producing 78 per day, so that'll be good. How many people have come now? Six workers. Alright, I'm going to make the rest of these guys training there to be craftsmen we don't have a tailor or anything yet let's have a look can we make one? Oh, a basic mine is unresearched oh i'm just getting distracted so why don't we look at what we can research where are we okay so we've got vocational training done cultivation we have to do surveillance we have to do building statistics uh, statics we have we've done Mining and weaving. Oh, let's make some clothes. I feel like that's a good one to start with. And then after that, we could maybe do cultivation. What 
what's up with you? Oh, you've got no iron ore. That's all right. I mean, you're you're fine. Don't worry. We've got our kitchens going, doing a great job. The water. I think I'm gonna have to make yet another well because I don't see us reaching this five thousand stockpile of water. To be quite frank. All right, where is a good place for water? You would think right next to the water, but <laughs> it's done. All right, cool. So we've just researched the tailor. Huh, where am I going to put this well? I'm going to have to put it all the way over here. I don't know how efficient that's going to be, but mm, never mind. All right, so we've done our tailor. Let's go back to development. I am going to do cultivation. Won't take long to get that. All right, let's put down our tailor. Here we go. Now, just to remind myself, actually, where were our layers? Okay, the water's out here. Where was the fertility layer? Oh, out here. All right, so we don't want to sort of sprawl into here. So we want to keep going in this direction, I feel. So let's put our tailor maybe up this way. What's that next to? Oh, the shack. Why not? Um, where's the tailor? There it is. I might leave the shacks as they are because the road is going to fuck up there. So oh, that's the same as that building. What's that? A kitchen. So that's good. So we can move the road over this way a little. I'm going to do that right now before I forget to do that later. There we go. Gorgeous. Okay, so our population is going well. How many craftsmen do we have now? Two. Okay, that must be because they're still learning at this college thing. Oh, I haven't pressed start training. That's good. <laughs> Not enough paper. Okay. Where is our lumber mill? We'll change this back to paper now. I could make a second lumber mill actually so that I don't have to keep changing. That might be a good idea. Oh, we've got a kale yard as well. Does that mean we can do our next? Yes, we can. Let's do surveillance. I'm going to build another um, lumber mill because I, I don't want to um, have to keep. I don't want to have to keep going back and forward between the two. Paper and lumber so that's a great idea so what's this lumber mill on it's on paper at the moment so this mill can be um doing our lumber all right so surveillance is done mine surveying so we need some more bricks we need more paper all right so once this lumber mill is done it'll be great how is the pit going and the kiln Let's put a couple more workers in there and we'll do a couple more in the pit actually too. There we go. Yeah, I feel like that's good. We'll take it down to three. Did I place the tailor in the end? I can't remember. I'm the worst. <laughs> oh, I did. Look, it's just not done yet. Okay, select a resource. We're going to do lumber, I think. And what's this one doing? Paper. Yep. Great. Okay. So what are you waiting on? Nothing. Okay. So the construction on the tailor should start very soon. So, okay. Clothes supply is low. Oh, we've got full storage. Okay. Let me put a storage facility down. A stockpile. That's what it's called. <laughs> Great. I feel like that was really good. It just fits in there nicely. All right. I'm going to get rid of that. I don't need to know about our five years. Okay. We are going to make clothes. Let's have, oh, let's have a craftsman. Hmm, it's got no power. Oh my gosh. Okay. Where's our windmills? What does the scouts guild do send scouts to explore oh shit a building's on fire well that's not good let's pause and i want a full response 
thank you. Oh, it's the smith that's on fire. Oh, I wonder if that's like, that seems to be that it would be really eating into our water supply there. Look at this number go down. That's gone down so much. Um, but I feel like we have to respond to that. If we don't respond to that, we're going to be in big trouble. So they're going to keep putting that fire out. And I'm going to make a couple more of these windmills. And hopefully... Oh, sugar, are you joking? This one's on fire? Oh, no, that's the forge. Oh, that's meant to be fiery like that. Oh, that's really cool. Look how that... It's going down there. I don't know exactly what you call that. Uh, <laughs> but like, that looks really cool. Okay, we're going to repair our smith. Oh, my gosh, we're down to 120, etc. water. Wow. Okay, I don't think we're going to... Um, I don't think we're going to meet this preparation objective. Oops, I want to... Can I check the objective? No, I can't. Okay, well, that's fine. Whatever. Um, okay, how are we going with development? Mining. All right, so we're still awaiting some bricks and some paper, but that's fine. Do I have enough paper to start training? Oh, we do. Yeah, let's start training those. Our development will have to wait. I feel like the craftsmen are going to be um, really sort of crucial to to our, our city and our development. All right, how's everything going? Okay, merchant, what do you have? Oh, we could do iron ore. Very cool. Trading for meat. Um... Hmm, is it a silly idea? I feel like maybe clothes would be a better option. Let's trade trade our clothes instead. And I would say probably the paper too. Let's try pa trading some paper. Let's buy some ore. I don't know if this is completely necessary, but... Oh, there we go. Let's confirm that. Okay, great. Nice doing business with you, bud. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just going... I'm, I think this unending preparation, I think that's just not going to happen, honestly. Training complete. Ooh. Okay, four trainees are craftsmen. One didn't make the cut. Oh, that's a shame. I wonder how many... Ha oh, I was gonna say I wonder how many is too many to have as craftsmen but I think that should be fine okay so if we've got five out of six what does that mean I can't get them to work at the kiln it's whatever did I already did I already assign them somewhere else I I, I mean I could have done that there's one at the tailor does this tell me where you're working? Uh, I don't think so. Housing, 90%. Oops, we probably should make some more houses. It'd be really good when we start getting into these other tiers of housing and um, just making it a bit nicer for people. Let's build another, maybe let's build like three shacks, maybe. Access to services, no health and no security. Okay, so where was that? Okay, the kale yard. Oh, lightning strike. Are you okay? Hope so. All right. Um, what was I looking for? Gosh, I can't even remember. <laughs> oh, the Scout Guild. That's something we just learned. Why don't we do this? Um, where would be a good spot? 
Nope, doesn't fit there. Does it fit here? Oh my gosh, it does. Look at that. It was made for it. <laughs> okay. Iron ore. It's coming up a little bit. That's good. It's not really imperative, really. Let's get a little bit of road out here. It looks like it's going to be better for that building oh, to have some road. What are we waiting on? Is it lumber that I don't have enough of to make the road? Oh, it hits obstacles. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I can see how that would be a problem. <laughs> Let's just build it down here instead. There we go. Yeah, I think that was a good call making two lumber yards because that was going to get tedious swapping between these paper and lumber. Um, gosh, my workforce is like all over the place. It must be from the uh, when I had to put out that fire. So let's see. Does everybody, has everyone got positions that they're working? See, don't really want the main hall. Oh, <laughs> yet again. Soup kitchen. So you don't want me to make craftsmen here? Do I have to like take off one of these? No, I don't. Hmm. That's weird. Okay, I don't know. I don't know the deal with the craftsmen. I guess we'll just work it out as it goes. Um, it's It'll be fine. All right, cool. So we've got plenty of housing now. So when we get some extra people, they can move in there so that's the extent of the housing for this tavern to build so we need to build the houses around around in this direction now um how are we going with development so we need a little bit more paper before we can do the mine surveying that'll be good i'm gonna try to put another well out somewhere i just don't know where it's going to go there because it's going to be like right out here and i'm not sure i just don't know how efficient that's going to be honestly being right out there okay that's all taken up oh gosh that's only one from that one so i don't know i mean it, it's not like it costs a lot for these wells to be put out here you know but still it just seems a bit strange uh Nope, that's the end of the map. That's probably why we need the scouts. What's there? I thought there was bl the blue squares, like I'd put something there. Maybe not. Oh, see that? Yeah, it's very strange. Maybe that's where this basic mine can go. I, I Yeah, that would make sense that that's what that is. All right. I literally can't put any... Nope, I tell a lie. There's one more well there. That's it. Don't suppose we can do anything with this ruin. A vanishing remnant of the old world. Okay. Skilled hands and the right resources. It might be brought back to life, but there's no option to do that. So maybe that's a later date thing. Okay. At least we got a lot of meals for everyone. I mean, that's a good thing. Oh, look at that bird. That's weird. <laughs> But it is very strange that this water situation, um, I wonder if later in the game we actually get to do like bore water or something like, I don't know, that's probably classes the well actually now that I actually thought about it. I don't know if we like desalinize some of the salt water, who knows. The Scouts Guild. Did you say you've got no power? Oh my gosh, look at that. The power is just almost non-existent. Oh my gosh, what's happening with our windmills? I wonder if that gets upgraded as well. Do we get some... Some extra... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like uh, some different ways to generate power. Let's hope so. Probably should look for a more efficient place now too because that's only giving me four. Oh no, that's a five one. Oh no, that's all right. We'll keep building it for now. All right, we're in winter. 
Um, water. Oh, I thought water was slowly going back up, but I could be wrong. Do we have enough? Oh, jeez. Why is paper? Paper production is so slow. Oh, that's why. What happened to our lumber mill? Did it, was it the one that got, um, it might have been the one that got struck by lightning and then, I don't know, does that just like flatten the building? Maybe that's how it works, I don't know. Oh, look at the water just influx then. That's weird. Anyway, never mind. So what's this one making? Oh, we've got no logs. Well, hold on a second. Let's add some dudes to this one here. There we go. Look, there you go. You can get some logs. We need more stone. Not really. Oh, look. Why don't I add... I don't know why. I, maybe I didn't have enough workers at the time. I decided not to try to do like get all of them on there the three out of three is that better it should be better yeah there we go all right cool we're uh slowly getting back there hmm that makes me wonder is should i make another field camp literally just in the trees hmm might not be so bad. All right, what's wrong with you? Oh, you don't have lumber yet? That's all right. We're going to make it. Oh, look at our water levels going up. You know what? We might actually make it now. I wonder. Oh, now that it's spring, all the water's probably come back. Yep. That might, might make sense. Hmm. I wonder if I should connect all of the wells to the roads. I don't know. I think it seems like a bit of a waste of resources, but I could try. That one's connected. Um, yeah, all right. Maybe ones that are, where's my road? Let's just put this one out here. Oh, look, it runs right past that one. That's good. There we go. That one's connected now. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so some of our wells are connected to the road, so that should help a little bit. Oh, look, we're actually going to make this objective, the unending preparation. I honestly wrote it off. I thought we weren't going to. Okay, so the lumber mill, that's making paper. There we go. This one's making lumber. Okay, good. We, I feel like we are back on track. Okay, there's our objective. Beautiful. And I think that just makes everybody happy. Oh, we've reached a new cycle. All right, so we can do farms. Oh, a residence, so we don't have to have shacks. Wind turbines. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Storehouses, guardhouses, smelter. Maintenance building, that should be good. And a water pump. Okay, so the water pump... Oops. Water pump looks like that's going to be quite good. All right, so... Oh, my gosh. Seeing these smiths, honestly... Or the forge, sorry. <laughs> with their fire, really. <laughs> Makes me very nervous. Okay, so do I have to now... Yeah, I reckon I'll have to research the next... Yeah, the new cycles. Okay, so all we're waiting for now is paper for the mine surveying and then we can move on to the next one. So that's good. So have we made every building we can? Oh, a group of travelers that still push us over. 
Oh, does that not push us over the 90? The 100? Obviously doesn't. That's okay. Uh, I'm not going to train these guys yet because I really want to... Oh yeah, it does push us over to the 100. Uh, I really, I'm not going to train those um, craftsmen because I really want to get the new development. All right, so we increased uh, to 100 in terms of population. So that's really good. Okay, how's our electricity? Oh my gosh. We're like 700 over now. What happened? Okay. We're getting clay. Oh gosh, this is an electrical storm, is it? Let's have a look. Oh, it's a sandstorm. Minus 35 to the workforce and maintenance cost in buildings increases by 18%. So we really need one of those maintenance, um, maintenance building. Okay, so we've got plenty of housing. This one has nobody in it. But that's okay because we will get some extra population. I don't know if these people have children. Is that is that a thing? Or are they just all adults? Hmm, I can't tell. If anyone knows, let me know. <laughs> all right. Oh, we've got a merchant again. Look at you. Look at you wearing your fancy hat. Ah, oh, was he the same one we had last time? Maybe they just have one portrait. I don't know. <laughs> um, look, I don't really think we need anything that you're selling, dude. I, I just, yeah, I think we're going to, I think we're just not going to trade. I don't see the benefit right now. Uh, it looks like we might have enough paper to do our research. Nope. Okay, so we need 1230. All right, I'll keep an eye out for that. Oh, we can make wire in the smith. Hmm. That's interesting. That means that I might have to... Um, we might have to make another smith as well. Alright, let's create scout team number one. I don't know what the hell that does. Why don't I create scout team number two? Idle at camp. Okay. How do I... How do I select you oh a vital suggestion combing the wasteland chief we need more people to sustain what we've built we can't keep relying on stray travelers finding us or our scouts stumbling upon small settlements we have a proposal to sit uh, systemize our growth okay i'm listening we can form small envoys and send them off in certain directions. Hopefully some of them will discover communities who are unaware of our existence and are willing to join us. It would be a good idea to give these envoys some of our best crafted uh, products. A freshly sealed can of food, a shiny new hammer or a spotlessly clean outfit will help persuade and uplift people who have known nothing uh, but de uh, deprivation. You can use this initiative as a periodic action. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. We need to spread our message of hope. Okay, so this is probably where our scouts come in. New regulation. Envoys something, something. I didn't read it quickly enough. <laughs> All right. Storage is almost full again. Wow. Um, so it says that my scout teams are idle at camp hmm I wonder if I wonder if uh, is there like a map I can do with nope M doesn't do anything M for map <laughs> overview and reports I wonder if this is where I can do something um, okay storage is almost full Clothing distribution rate is at minus four. Well, I don't know how to help with that, mate. Um, our people. Oh, these are all our people? Holy dooly. Um, okay. Structures. All right, so we need to build some more storage. That's clear. Oh, regions. Oh, 
Camp name, that's us. Camp name. I am not going to change that. I like that. All right, the valley. Okay, how do I... Oh, can I... No, I can't double click on that. Effects, yield, productivity, status. Right, okay. So we're an established... At, at camp, camp name. <laughs> we're at a, we are established, so... How do I send my scouts out? Um, is it in the menu? No. Okay. We'll just put that down to... I've got no idea. <laughs> oh, wait a second. <laughs> this could be the world map, could it? <laughs> Here we go, folks. Oof. Look at us go, we are gaming. All right, we've got the highlands and we've got the valley. I'm just being told as well that it's winter. So, all right, the highlands. This is eight days. Yep, we'll send scout team number one. Um, the valley, we'll send scout team number two. Why not? All right, let's close the world map. Beautiful. Look at this guy hobbling around. Mate, it's probably... Oh, sorry. No one dies today. No one dies. <laughs> Phoebe, I like your enthusiasm. Um, I'm sorry that I called you a guy, but that's cool. What else? You know, but you're doing your job. Very well done, Phoebe. <laughs> Just thought it looked really strange. She's hobbling along with her log. <laughs> um, oh, let's check our development. Can we do? Yes. Let's get this going. Mine survey, uh, surveying. And then I reckon that's what this is over here. When I tried to put the well down, where was it? Around here? There was those square sections of land that I could put something down. I reckon that's what that is for this basic mine. I'm just hazarding a guess, but I think that's probably what it is. All right. Okay, so we're just waiting, obviously, for the development. When we get a thousand paper again, I'll train these five craftsmen as well. The craftsman aspect has just really baffled me because I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do with them because some of these buildings I can't actually put a craftsman in. So, okay, development is complete. That's great. Let's go over here now. I want to do the mine. Where was it? Uh, resources? Yeah, basic mine. Okay, I'm going to pause a sec because there's things happening. No, what's going on? Why is that? Hmm, let's put that here because I... A mineral deposit. Oh, okay. Okay, interesting. All right, we'll just let that do it. Okay. I think, okay, let's do this Mining 101 because he might ask us to build that. Okay, Chief, we now know enough to be able to build our first mining facility. In order to access the rich resources under the surface, we need to position these facilities carefully and begin digging mine shafts to reach whatever we can reach below the surface. Only once these shafts have been dug, can we say for certain what minerals we can find in the area and how much of them. All veins are usually found on mountain slopes or in rocky areas. After selecting a mine, uh, a mine building, you can view potential ore veins by navigating close to these areas on the map. All right, let's get our pickaxes ready. I hope I've done the right thing. We are oh, message from Scout Team One. Let's have a look. This is to the Highlands. Vast plains of grass and rocky road leading to steep slopes rising to the sky. With a hint of mountain range ahead, these lands may have um, abundant resources with ample rainfall. Okay, if nothing works, at least uh, we can at least build a watchtower. This will help our city to receive more information. Great. All right, what does number two say? Uncharted territory, a large area that looks empty and untouched, except for a few ruins of buildings from long ago. There is nothing to see. Okay, the few woods may harbor small prey and judging by the weedy ground, water can be found without going too deep below the surface. 
All right. They say the same. We can be aware. Okay, whatever is useful to us should be sought out. Okay, unkept promises. Really? What's the point of increasing food shares if some of us don't even get a bite? We don't have enough food to meet the ration distribution we've set for the population. Giving us false hope won't benefit anyone. We're waiting on you to set things straight. Set a new ration distribution level and achieve at least 90% successful distribution. Oh, Jesus, you're right. Look at that. What on earth happened? Did everyone... Okay, so you're still... We've got plenty of mushrooms and we've got plenty of food. Okay, so they just can't keep up with the demand. Right, so let's... Let's create some extra kitchens. I'm a very naughty city manager. I didn't even notice that that was happening. <laughs> um, I'm going to put two more down. Okay, beautiful. Oh, dear me. They're going to think I'm the worst. Okay, build a basic mine. We've got that going. We'll get these soup kitchens going. We'll put people in them. It'll be fine. I wonder if I should start trying to get some fish. Uh, let's do mushroom soup. Everyone loves mushroom soup. We'll do meat soup for this one. There we go. Oh, cool. We built our mine and, oh, we did the Russian objective as well. Okay, so what do we want to do? We want to do ore, copper. Ooh, ooh, let's do copper. And I can use two of our craftsmen. That's cool. Mm, no, let's do copper. What's this? Coal. And the ore is locked in development. Okay, so what can I do with this? I'm going to analyze that deposit. Analyze that deposit. May as well analyze all of them. Why not? Okay, I need a road to go to our mine. There we go. <laughs> it's so funny the way it builds. <laughs> uh, okay. So what do we have here? Oh, we've got tin ore there. We've got copper ore here. And what about this one? Iron ore. Does that change the options? I don't think it does. Okay, so does this mean now, if we go to the forge, does it have a different... No, it... Oh, copper ingots are locked. All right, so we need to go to our development tree and see what's what. Okay, so we've finished all of these. Let's go to this one. Divided layers. So... Know-how on multiple layered brick and iron constructions, resident sand and glass. Stable Roots is professional construction team providing regular building maintenance and repair services and insulated furnaces, smelter copper. Let's go with the building maintenance and then we'll probably do the new, um, the new houses as well. Oh, no power at the Scouts Guild. Okay, darn it. Let's <laughs> let's make some more. Um, okay, let's make some more uh, windmills. Can we do wind turbine yet? No. Mm, okay, let's just build a windmill and then we'll have to get on to researching the wind turbine. Otherwise, we're just going to have windmills everywhere. Okay, cool. So we've got our maintenance building. Where would that be in? Mm, resources. Oh, a water pump. Nice. Production. Probably not. Utilities, I'm going to guess. Oh, there it is. Maintenance building. Okay. Oh, I need glass to make it? Hmm. Where do I make the glass? Okay. 
I feel like the town is starting to kind of come together in terms of like the buildings are like uh, there's more than one option to do things etc all right let's build that there got a couple of workers there okay what what do you want rising upkeep demands chief we've come a long way as a community build a maintenance building and assign a workforce yes of course okay um so we've just put that down, but I need glass. Now, where does glass come from? Do, do, do. Um, do you tell me where glass? Oh, it's unresearched. Okay, so we need to go to development. Oh, we were going to do this one next anyway. All right, so we're waiting for paper. Once we get paper, I feel like we'll be okay. A gross miscalculation. Oh, food again? Oh dear me. All right, I'm gonna have to make some more soup kitchen. What about this kale garden? Produces raw food. Hmm, I say let's look into it. Oh look, it opens the fertility layer anyway, without me even looking at that layer. Well, that's cool. What is that? Oh, nothing. Oh, oh, it needs to be... Oh, I see. Look at those little garden-y, like, oat things. Interesting. Oops. So what can I do there? I can get, what, four? Over here I can get th four. Um, I'm going to place it right here. Let's try that. I'm going to also build a couple more soup kitchens because they're clearly not not happy with the um, the number of meals that are being produced. Here we go. Let's build that one there. Okay, what do you have to say? Signs of living. Our settlement has begun to resemble the village. We're not a group of wandering wanderers looking to scrape by anymore. We need to think about adjusting our shifts to allow us a day of rest. Oh, of course. I think that's a great idea. New working schedule, one day off per nine days of work. Oof. Yeah, all right. I mean, I think that's I think that's fine. I'm not heartless. <laughs> um, all right. How is our... Okay. Still got about 300 paper to go. Um, okay, we've done the rations. That's fine. Um, I don't know how that happened, but it did, so we're good. Hooray, hooray. No, one dies today. no one dies today. That seems to be our mantra. I think it's great. <laughs> Let's do mushrooms. And then once we've got our kale up and going, I mean, we could do vegetables, you know. Let's do vegetables. Oh, a merchant is here. Leather, meat, and fish. Um, we could sell our tools for some fish. I, no, I don't know. I don't think so, honestly. All right, what's wrong with you, Taylor? Oh, not enough to fill the Taylor. Is that right? Um, well... You're just going to have to wait, mate. Okay, let's see. How's that kale farm going? Where did I put it? Oh, out here. All right. I'm going to do... Let's do the vegetables. We're not connected to the road, so let's connect her up to the road. There we go. A group of travelers. Ah. I can't say no when people come along looking for somewhere to live. We need to build some more houses. So residents, I really want to wait and do this one. Uh, can I? Uh, okay. No, I'm going to wait. You're just going to have to be homeless for a second, dudes. Um, that will start working any moment now. That's fine. Because how are these guys going? Yeah, look, there they go. Doing their thing. Look, building that. Growing the kale. Num, num, num. 
I might make a second one of those, actually. Because we might... I don't know if we'll need the herbs. I don't know, but... It might be a good idea. I can only get three there. Oh, no. Hang on. There's the four. Full storage, eh? I have to build another... Uh, where is what I'm looking for? Another stockpile. Here we go. Can't put you in there. Why don't I just put it in here? There we go. Do I actually have a cemetery? Just looking at this? Oh yeah, there's a cemetery there. There's literally eight people in there. I think that's such a... That's great. I feel like we've done really well. You've been eating raw food? Are you kidding me, dude? I feel like we're going better now. I could make another one. <laughs> Alright, development. Here we go. Let's go. And then once that's done, I'm going to make the uh, residence. But what do I need for that? Consumes 95 electricity. What does this consume? It's 15. I wonder... Whoa, that's a bit of a difference. I wonder if I can take out... Hmm. No, I'll I'll build them and then I'll take out the shacks. Okay, and the wind turbine. Okay, we haven't done that yet. Oh, we've got a couple of these things. A gross miscalculation. Oh, food. Fine, whatever. Uh, we, we seem to get the same um, quest and it keeps being okay. All right, social hierarchies. This might sound a bit sinister. Oh, dear. <laughs> we've all worked hard and we've paid the price. There are risks in opening our doors to outsiders, but we know there's nothing else we can do to grow. Still, it isn't right that newcomers should immediately have access to the same opportunities and welfare as our brothers and sisters who have paid such a heavy price. Um, what can be done? I... <laughs> There are people among us who underwent craftsman training more than five times. More than five times? It's simply not fair for someone to show up at our door to immediately supersede our hardworking fellows. We demand that you solve this matter with a regulation to give extra benefits to those who have lived and worked here for longer. Um. Hmm. Um. What is this one? I don't, I'm not, I don't know. Those who have lived in our settlement for a longer periods of time will have some preferential rights, being first in the distribution of shares, separate participation in trainings and housing lotteries. Relative newcomers will have will not have these rights until they have worked in um, heavy and dirty jobs for some time. No, I don't think so. I don't think I don't think that's no, I don't think that's right. Okay, so let's make I need residents. I'm gonna make a couple of these. Oh, we need glass. Hmm. Okay, hang on one sec. I need to work out where we make the glass. At the kiln. Okay, so I need a second kiln. Let's make another one of those. Let's just put it right next to each other, I guess. Does it need road access? Yeah. Um that's fine there. All right, so we'll make that kiln. We'll make it make the glass. And we'll start building some residence buildings as well. What else for development? Insulated furnaces. Okay, we need more bricks. All right, guys, I think I'm going to call this episode here. So my name is Smox from Celebrant Quest. Thank you so much for joining me on the second episode of New Cycle. Um, we, I feel like we kind of got some things done this episode and not at the same time very strange um now we've got we seem to be able to make buildings that we already have but now they're performing different functions which is kind of cool um okay so we are going to 
continue in new cycle um i would really love to get to the point where we've got like little trains and stuff i've seen that uh, in some of um the promotional material for this game but guys um like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already that would be awesome and i shall see you again in new cycle take care everyone bye bye